Hello everyone again. Um, I'm back with little Adam. He's taking a snooze. He's got a full belly from his feeding video earlier and a nice clean diaper. And I thought I would um, comb the back of his hair a little bit. It's kind of, it's really not that bad. I just um, want to comb it a little bit because it's got a little bit of frizziness going on with it. And it doesn't look quite as uh, smooth as some of the other upper parts but um Regina sent me this spray bottle and it had about up to there I want to say of some kind of solution it smells absolutely wonderful but you're supposed to add water with it and shake it up which I've done already and then you just apply some to his hair so I'm gonna do that now while he's taking a little nap and I was told you don't need much, so I'm just going to do a little bit. Grab his little comb that we got. And lightly pick at it, kind of real gently. So we don't pull any hair out. Uh, Regina does silicone in the hair on her babies. But she said she can't silicone in every little hair. So she said some hair will fall out and that'll be the... Probably the ones that she doesn't get siliconed in. But anyway, his hair is combing through really nicely. And I'm not seeing anything falling out so far, which is superb. <laughs> oh, he's such a baby. Cute little boy. And I probably won't comb his hair much. Um, I usually don't comb my silicone baby's hair very much because because it's not usually glued in and it can fall out. So I usually don't mess with it too much. Um, I usually can get it nice with my just running my fingers through it. And he doesn't have a real thick head of hair, which I love. Um, I'm not a big fan of babies having so much hair that you can't see their scalp because most babies aren't born with a full head of hair. I mean they are but it falls out really quickly well, you know in the crib and stuff and they have like they get that bald spots and stuff so I really like to be able to see the um, the scalp and I'm able to see that with his hair which I love. So. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, he didn't even wake up through this whole process, did you? <laughs> so, all right, um, we're probably going to head out in a little bit. Daddy's going to go visit a friend, and I have to go pick up the girls, so I'm probably going to take little man with me. And um, I think we're going to stop at some stores. I'm really nervous about that because I don't do it very often and I know some of you do it all the time and I don't know I'd love to hear how you deal with any of the any of the uh, responses you get or cross-eyed looks or anything like that I haven't usually I've never taken my babies out without having my kids with me because then I can easily say oh it's my daughter's doll <laughs> when people say something and, and it's acceptable for the daughters, you know, my kids to have a doll, but not so much me, especially to be toting it around in public. So I'd love to hear what you guys do, how you handle it. Maybe you don't even care anymore. Um, probably got to the, you know, some of you may have gotten to the point where it's just really a numb thing. You don't even worry about it, but I, I don't know. I just, I'm still leery about doing it and I, I don't know, I'm going to try it, I think, today. Because I'm feeling that I don't care attitude, I guess, what other people think. So, um, feel free to leave me some comments on some things that you've experienced and how you dealt with it. I would love to hear how some of you pros do this on a regular basis. But, um, until next time, have a good evening and... Stay safe out there if you're driving or going to any parties or anything like that. And uh, have a wonderful rest of the day. All right. Bye-bye.